that. All right. It is 11.30 p.m. Wednesday night. And as you can tell by these little droplets that are coming from the sky, TJ, I think it's time to make it rain. <laughs> make it rain. <laughs> All right, now that we've got the music, we can seriously start recapping the day. Um, first meeting this morning uh, was at 8 a.m. and sold six life insurance policies. And that was actually my only sales sales meeting this morning. Uh, what did get accomplished today, other than making six sales, um, six, not six. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. TJ's trying to show you his breakfast as though it's the same. This is Hotel Waffles, which is pure carb. These are protein pancakes. But they're sugar free. <laughs> hmm. Are you playing hard to get? Oh, you're reading. Sorry to disturb you. One. Just hit 10,000 <gasps> on Instagram. Oh yeah. Yeah, now we can swipe up with a link. You don't have to tell people to go to the freaking link in bio every single time. People are like, link in bio, that's not what I was looking for. Link in bio, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> too much content, too much sauce. I'm ready. <laughs> you just see a bicep in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so. Just got out of my first meeting of the morning, sold six life insurance policies. Um, that's all right. How many people you meet up with? I think there was eight people in there, so not too bad. Um, now I've just got a ton. I mean, I've, I've literally got like six hours of work I gotta get done just on my computer, uh, which is not fun, but it's necessary every now and then. Uh, just some planning uh, stuff for the next few weeks of writing business. Uh, it's a phrase that we call slowing down to speed up. Sometimes you gotta slow down to speed up. It's all about keeping the pipeline full. The pipeline has to stay full. Uh, the worst thing that can happen sometimes is having a bunch of crazy, incredible weeks of writing business. And then you look up and you're like, oh crap, I have nothing scheduled. Uh, so it's just kind of a necessary evil. I hate doing work on the computer, but you just gotta do it. So. policies by that point. I don't know what you did. You probably did nothing. I also bought 13 new pairs of sneakers at that same time. And uh, besides that, set up 45 more podcasts. And yeah, that's basically my day. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's the best impression I can do right there. All right. What's up, guys? TJ here. Just got done doing some handstands in my room while meditating, while levitating, while doing brain surgery. 
So, let me tell you about Tyler's day today. So first, I got in his car. Second, I got out of his car and now I'm sitting down right now. Today has been incredible, but now it's time for another hit workout. Ah, handstand. <laughs> you actually went for it, I can't believe. Just got back from my, my workout. Did, uh, did the same thing I did every day, which is biceps, a little bit of back. Uh, no legs though, definitely don't do any legs. Uh, last time I did do legs, I got injured and don't want to do legs ever again. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I don't even know what legs are. Like, <laughs> do, they, do they even exist? Um, do they make you more money? That's a better question. No, they don't. So. What's up guys, this is TJ. When I'm not taking pictures with my shirt off, you know, for the gram, I like to be inverted. By inverted I mean doing handstands. If I'm not doing handstands, I like to be looking at other people doing handstands. If I'm not looking at other people doing handstands, I'm thinking about looking at other people doing handstands. Let me tell you a little bit about my history. I was born in Miami, Florida at the age of 12. <laughs> <laughs> I then went to Johns Hopkins University at 13, where I was a triple major in science, math, and science. <laughs> After getting a 4.0, and winning 12 national championships, four of which were in handstands. I then went on to get my doctorate and a master's in science and more science. I then spent six years in California studying underneath the greatest Zen masters that ever lived. I then spent eight years in the Sahara Desert living off of only carbohydrates. After that, I spent 14 years traveling all over Europe and Asia, learning from all the different cultures so that I could bring all this experience to the daily vlog. I then spent five years in the United States Navy so that I could basically teach the SEALs how to be tougher. I then was on American Ninja Warrior where I failed after three seconds on the easiest obstacle course. I then went on another show that no one's ever seen but I tell people about it all the time. <laughs> Every time I go to the gym, I just like to walk around and get the lay of the land, see all the different machinery and all the different equipment, and then do two pull-ups, spray myself with water, and go find Tyler and tell him I'm ready to go. 